Bye bye. Cheers, mate. Bye bye. Thank you. We are on the last day, the final leg of our 474 mile bike ride. And oh, I can't tell you how pleased I am that we are rolling into London. It has been an epic adventure, this one. It's been a hard slog, but the team have cherished every moment of it. I do want to end it, because I have a great time. I feel more confident. It was a an experience for me. It's been great riding beside you, you know. Yeah, you do. What do you make of the team rickshaw? I feel very, very proud. <laughs> The rickshaw rider who has made the longest journey of all, of course, is Salah, who fled war-torn Syria with his family. Is it hard to talk about what you saw? I wanted, like, the people to know what I've been through. Like, being in this situation, like, when the bombs going on and the fighting going on, it's really scary. In many situations, I could have been killed. So, we had to leave the country. What was it like to pack oh, all of your God. stuff, knowing that you were going to go? <laughs> everyone, everyone in my family was crying that moment. But always, like, you worry about your family, because we still got, like, lots of relatives there. My grandparents are there. It was very hard to leave them, and knowing that I'm not going to see them again. Uh -huh. And I've actually had friends dying in that war. I feel like this challenge has, has helped in any way. Yeah, it really helped me, yeah. That's, that's like one of the big things I've ever done in my life. I think I got more confident during this challenge and the support I've been getting, it really helped me a lot. We've been very lucky to have you in our team, Salah. Thank you all. The support we've had along the way has been astounding as always. But what about this? It's only Niall from One Direction, Phoebe. Come over here, Oh my God, no, you haven't. Hi, Phoebe, it's Niall here. I just wanted to say hello. I'm so happy for you that you're able to do this um, and raise loads of money. Have a great time for the season. Thank you. <laughs> it's Niall from One Direction, everyone. Our next destination causes a bit of confusion. So we're just on our way to where? 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 Where though? Where? Where? This is where. Where? Here. Where? Here. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh dear, the fun you can have with the name where. And waiting in where is a hero's welcome. Hi all. Can't beat this. I can't believe the turnout. All for Team Rickshaw. Wonderful. Over eight days, Team Rickshaw have had their highs and lows, and it's been tough. But on the verge of finishing the challenge, I can't help but feel so proud to have cycled alongside these six young riders, who have shown such resilience and determination to raise as much money as they can for the many causes that children in need support. I'm very excited to meet Willy Wonka. You just walk through. <laughs> well, there's 1,500 people out there, so I'm really scared. <laughs> uh, ladies and gentlemen, would you welcome to the stage Phoebe and Pudsy the Bear. My name's Phoebe, and I live in Derbyshire. I go to college, and I've got some great friends, but something's always missing. Three years ago, my dad died suddenly. My first reaction was shock. I had to take one day at a time as I was going to into my final year at school for GCSEs. Some nights I'd come home from school and feel really tired. I went to a doctor and they recommended counselling. I went to Treetops Hospice in Derby. It was hard at first to sit with someone and talk about what I'd been through and how I felt. I began to understand 
that although my life would never be the same, I could find better ways to cope with it. At home, I'll sometimes wear his old t-shirts. Inside, I'm reminded of how loving and caring he was. It's partly thanks to children need that I'm in this better place. This year, I'm taking part in the Rickshaw Challenge. If you can give a donation, please do. Thank you. all week through Team Rickshaw about some of the amazing charities that are supported through your donations and I wanted to go and meet one organisation that's been helping children born with lifelong difficulties. Cerebral palsy doesn't mean that children can't go on to have happy, active and independent lives. So I've come to this centre here in North London to see how children in need help make that happen. Cerebral palsy is the most common childhood physical disability and can affect movement, sight, hearing and speech. The London Centre for Children with Cerebral Palsy has helped hundreds of families with its specialised activity sessions and Sonia is one of the staff directly funded by Children in Need. Um, what exactly then is your role on a day-to-day -day basis? I'm the conductor in charge here. I'm organising the groups, leading the sessions with the parents and their child who are coming here on a weekly basis. It can be a group session or an individual session. So do you find that the parents find it quite comforting as well to come here in order just to compare notes and talk amongst each other as well as well? No, absolutely. That they can speak with each other, share experience and give tips and other ideas to each other and just talk and see that there are other parents and children with similar yes. abilities. Each year around one in 400 children experience a brain injury before, during or after childbirth which results in some kind of cerebral palsy. Andy was diagnosed at 18 months old after his parents realised he was unable to sit or stand unaided. He's been coming to weekly sessions here for the last two years. What do you find that Andy gets out of the centre? He gets to work with the girls who are really good with helping him do basics like sitting straight, lifting one leg, reaching out for things and not wobbling over because balance is a problem for Andy. It must be an amazing thing for you as a parent though, just to see his progress. Yeah. and basic things, like being able to walk with sticks for us was such an amazing achievement. Yeah. And the pride that he has from being able to do things like that is absolutely amazing. We contribute to our children coming here, it barely touches the side, the side of the things. If they don't get funded, this doesn't exist. Do you enjoy coming to the centre, Andy? What do they help you do? They help me do exercises. Yeah. And does it help with your balance and standing yeah. up and things? Yeah. Whilst we are preparing, you're a really good learner, aren't you, George? Yeah. Yeah. What has it meant to you then, Alison, as a mum, to have this centre to come to? There is not a week that goes by where I don't have a list of questions for Sonia. I'll be like, oh, we were doing these exercises at home, we're having problems with this, and she's just always there. I think the amazing thing is that they just see every child's potential and enables you as a parent to enable your child to fulfil that potential. Yeah. Having just been here for a few hours, it's really easy to see the impact the staff have on these children's lives. And your donation can help ensure that centres like this continue to grow and continue to help children like this to achieve their potential and have the best future possible. Yes! Yes, Andy! Brilliant! There you are! See, your donations really do make a difference, so please be as generous as possible tonight. You know what, we know you will be. Um, Team Rickshaw will be crossing the finish line right out there um, in a little more than an hour's time. And um, Team Rickshaw will be crossing the finish line right out there um, in a little more than an hour's time. And Matt has sent us his final update of the journey from Westminster Bridge. Ebony, look at this place. It's perfect for you. Yeah, it's beautiful. But Castle of Strictly, we love it. Is this all sparkly enough for you? Yeah. <laughs> Listen, we are now over 470 miles in to this wow. ride. And uh, I know this is, this is a difficult question to ask yeah. you, Phoebe, but 
how would you sum up the last week? Um, crazy, but amazing as well. And Olivia? Um, my, my best memory was raining with you and with snow and hail. Oh, the snow, yes. Yeah, because that was a big challenge for me doing that. And I, I can do it, so. Come on, Ross. You are the king of the one-worder. What will you remember about this week? Everything. Oh, <laughs> lovely. And Salah, quickly, quick word from so the back. The, the week has been uh, tough and amazing. Yeah, tough and amazing. Well, listen, you know this, I don't have to tell you this, but I have watched in admiration as you, all of you, have just dug deep and have done everything you can to raise as much money as possible. Listen, I don't need to tell you all how proud of you I am. It's been incredible, it really has. I've, I've watched in admiration as each and every one of you has dug deep to do everything that you can to raise as much money as possible. And this is the thing about Team Rickshaw. You know, they haven't done this for themselves. They've done this for other children. So that other children, just like them, can get the help and support that they need to face or overcome those challenges in their lives. And each and every one of these riders knows what it feels like to get that help. And now it's over to you, you know? They're going to be standing in front of a total in an hour and a half. And this is your last chance to add to that incredible number. They want to know what an impact what they've been doing over the last eight days has had. And they'll find out very shortly. So, like I say, it's your last chance to show your respect for their incredible achievement. Al, back to you. OK, we are here with the families of Team Rickshaw. We are with uh, Owen, who's Ross's brother. Uh, now, when this challenge happened, how confident were you that he was going to bring it home? Not very. <laughs> He's been amazing, though, hasn't he? He has. He has. Didn't expect it from him. And, uh, and the reaction in the family has been just total pride. All of them. Good, good. Really happy. OK, we've got uh, Keris here, who's Ebony's big sister, who she hasn't seen in months. No, well, no, no, not for months, cos work and stuff like that, so... But tonight's going to be a little bit of a surprise for her. Yeah, she doesn't know I'm here, and I'm so excited to see her. And how proud are you? Do you know, I'm so proud, and, like, watching her on TV this last week, I've just seen a completely different side to her that I've never seen before, and, yeah, I'm, I'm just overwhelmed yeah. by her and her determination and her courage. She's been absolutely incredible, she really has. Fraser, Phoebe's brother, um, we saw um, Phoebe doing her speech tonight and, you know, she spoke really openly and honestly yeah. about your dad. I mean, it must have been tough for her reliving that. I mean, how did you feel watching it? Yeah, it was pretty emotional and I can imagine it was probably quite tough for her with everything going on. Mm. Um, but no, yeah, the rickshaw challenge has been amazing for her and everyone involved. And what do you think the rickshaw challenge has given her then? Because they've all grown so much, haven't they, during the week? Yeah, um, yeah, they have. It's confidence and just the knowledge that she can drive through anything that she wants to do. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. And James, Andrew's older brother. Yeah. Yeah. Now, I mean, he's been one of the real key players. You know, he's been a very strong member of the team. He's taken that rickshaw up some gruelling hills. How has it felt then watching him from afar? Uh, brilliant. Yeah, yeah, he's done really, really well. Um, when he first said that he was going to do it, uh, I thought he was crazy. Yeah. Plus, yeah, 474 miles or whatever it is. But, um, yeah, I know he's a, a fit lad, but he's managed to actually pull it through yeah. and, and sort of help out with others. and. I'm looking forward to seeing them. Yeah, They'd be yeah, here yeah. just under an hour. Look, fantastic. Thank you. Well, thanks to Laura and Jason for joining us this evening. And to you, Patrick, for the last three days. Thank it's you very much. Thanks for dream. having me. Um, I'll be back with Matt on Monday on the sofa with Jennifer Aniston, can you believe? Yeah. Uh, but please stick around tonight to welcome in Team Rickshaw at quarter to nine. We have a 200-strong choir and there will be fireworks. Uh, there will.